right. Very cleverly done. Uh, the uh, the world's powers had a pushed away chemist. It was totally done if you think of that. And said that every religion looks at Kemet and says they worship God, they worship the sun, they worship the sun, they never want peace, so they, they just worship God to right the way. But the true essence of it is the hidden and the light has come forth. You've got Christianity, you won't go near Egypt because they said that the Israelites are enslaved for us, a big load of old fool I've heard in my life. Uh, you look at any other religion, they all turn around and say they, all, they worship gods, this, that and the other. But if you really look at the writings, the monuments, etc, etc, you will find that they've left the legacy of a how to become such a higher being, to elevate the, the left hemisphere and the right hemisphere together. This is why they've got the two states on top. Nekobek and Olachek. And what it is, they manage to elevate the two hemispheres. They become all-knowing, all-powerful. And when they said they become God, they become God on earth. They're in the likeness of the Supreme Being, remember. You have to remember, we are made in the likeness of the Supreme Being. Don't forget that. No. No, it's mine. No. How are we in the likeness of the Creator? What part of mine is like the Creator? Oh. That when man do so much evil and wickedness, yeah, this, is, this is the problem with the world. They're so wrapped up in their conditioning. They're born into conditioning. Christians turn around and say that we're born into sin. Hosh that at one side. You're born in. When you grow up, you're conditioned to feel scared of the dark, to, to cry, to be jealous, to this, that. And as you grow up, so the conditioning. Now, the art of all this is to become above all conditions, but then you become unconditioned. But then no emotion, no sensual temptations or anything can disrupt your being. The ancient Egyptians, as we know them as ancient Kemet, these people knew our ancestors left this important and so much important legacy. Now, they told us and teach us how we're in the likeness of the Supreme Being. Now the essence of the Supreme Being is within, it's your Divine Self. But all your conditioning of your human existence covers it. So now and again you might get moral, stop and being morally better as you get older, because that's another faculty uh, awakening from maturity. So you start to say thank you, please, etc, etc. But the true essence of your being is Divine, and this is what we call Osa the divine aspect of the Supreme Being that is within man and woman. We can achieve on this plane here, and this is the only place we can achieve it, is become God-man and God-woman. It is as simple as that. Why? I am Israel and Zephyrus, the first. A divine being. Don't look on the outward appearance, trust me. Do not look on the outward appearance or the voice. You know, when you look in, you'll find a divine being. I do not suffer, I do not suffer. My anxiety is full of joy and harmony. And this is all from the teachings of our ancestors have left us to be a better, be better being. You've got, you've got to have a look here, you've got to try it out. Believe me, every word I've said is true. It is such a wonderful. Our ancestors leaving this as a gift, dear me, you could get no better gift. Simple as that.